short little video. Like the title says, 17.2 is now out. Uh, there were a couple of things that I thought were interesting. I'm in the process of editing this and I just realized that I didn't even explain to you guys how to download. You can go to their website or the easier way to do this is actually start up DaVinci Resolve. And then if you come to the top here, you can go check for update and it should tell you here if there's an update or not. And then you can click to get the update. Really like how they're showing off the things that were now added to 17.2. I feel like this little splash screen should show before you go to update, but it's pretty cool that it shows up. It looks like they actually put some effort in. There's animations for each one of these, which is pretty cool. It was interesting to see that live save is, is on by default now. I made a video talking about how live saves and backups work with the version control and that kind of thing. And I would always get comments. Why isn't this on by default? And you know, I really didn't have an answer for them, but um, yeah, so anyways, so now we have live saves. It looks like they did a little bit with um, how Fairlight works and I'm not super versed in audio stuff, but, but yeah, faster startup. I don't know if this is just like a Windows and Linux thing or if Mac was also slow, Macs typically get more optimization than other platforms. This is super interesting for anyone that likes to make templates, how the, how, uh, the whole template system works. Now we can add in elements that are already pre-created. So we can take in images and stuff like that that are already pre-created and have it go into the folder structure of the templates. So that's actually really awesome to see. I'm kind of curious. There's a lot of like, eh, does it work? You know, how does this work? Is this also going to only work with Fusion templates or does it work with the edit page templates? I still have to play around with that. That's going to be interesting. But yeah, now we have a new way of dynamically linking elements. I kind of went on a tangent there, but you weren't able to link stuff with some type of dynamic linking uh, before you had to know the media ID or you had to use a loader, but then it would be a static address. So now we have the ability to have a dynamic address, which is really freaking cool because you can just um, have it within that folder structure. There were a bunch of other things added on here. If you go in, if you click on, see, this is another thing that I don't like. I click on learn more and it takes me right to this DaVinci Resolve. I feel that they should be able to sense if I had another version installed. And instead of taking me here, take me to a really nice page that also shows the patch notes, right? So here are the current patch notes. There'll be a link in the description if you wanna see them for yourself because there were quite a few things that were added. Uh, but yeah, so there is that. Uh, one thing to note is that if you are coming from a 16 version and you're obviously coming into 17, it's typically recommended to back up your database. But if you're staying in 17, uh, and you're 17 and you're going to, you know, the 17.2, you don't really have to be super concerned with backing it up. I always like to back up, but there isn't a uh, reverse anything that's non-reversible in the 17.2 um structure of the database going from 16.2 to 17. I guess there was a couple of fields updated, so it can't roll it back. And I'm not exactly sure how this is going to start up. If it starts up like a normal DaVinci Resolve starts up, I'll show you quickly how you do the backup. My VM is started. My VM is started, so that shouldn't be the reason why. I'll just log in and make sure that everything is running on it. All right, so now we're in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must've been the f just the first load yeah, that's, that's awesome. If you ever need to back up your database, just simply click this little button here and you can see that these still never got backed up. So yours should look like that um, if you're going from the old version into the new version. Um, but clicking on here, uh, along the top here, you can just hover to get an idea of what they are, right? So you're just going to click backup. So like even these that need the update, uh, if I click on it, it says that I need to get the update. So what I would do is backup first 
and then I would click that after the backup was completed, right? Um, and then if you ever have to go back to the other one, you'll get an error saying that this database is uh, from a newer version than the existing one. Then you would restore backup and just you know name it something different, and then you would be good to go using the old backup um, that you had. So. That is pretty much that. I just wanted to keep this short, let you guys know that the new version is out. I have no idea how stable this update is. Everyone's hardware is completely different, but just wanted to make you guys aware of it. And that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in pre-made templates, currently my website is running a 20% discount for spring. You can take a look at the link in the description. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you guys in the next one. Later.